everyone, it's Janet Wakeland here with Remarkably Created, and we are on video three of looking at the eight new suites of products in the Stamp It Up catalog. I was looking at my shirt up on the camera screen and I was thinking to myself, you know what? It really should say I'm the sassy Stampin' Elf, as we've had lots and lots of fun stamping great samples for you, and I've had fun being Christmassy, so. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at a great product of sweets that is already a crowd favorite. Um, the stamp set here was designed by Susan Elise Morton, an absolutely amazing demonstrator. And it, of course, spoke to me right away living here on the bayou and having moved from Pennsylvania and crabbing and vacationing on the Chesapeake Bay love blue crabs we actually named our house bayou crab inn and so i like had to have it immediately of course i love um saltwater marshes and things like that so it's absolutely perfect heartfelt sympathy thank you for everything and you are a pearl rare and precious you've got some great birds my daughter told me what kind of birds they are they're like sanderlings i think is what they actually are um, but very much like a piping plover. So you've got the small, you've got your seashells, your pearl, of course your crab. Blue is a great color, red when he's cooked, right? Even better color. <laughs> so in addition to the stamp set, you've got some amazing dies. And we're gonna take a look at all of the different ways that you can cut the designer paper directly with this and then some fun ideas. These are flat and they're pearls, they're just beautiful. So it kind of goes with the whole oyster kind of vibe there, so you've got, and they're flat, so I love that. And then you've got this beautiful paper. Let's show you all the 12 pieces. It does come as a six by six paper stack. So let's, we've got that real soft balmy blue. Can't have an ocean without some fish, right? A Little bit of gold metallic. Just a little bit of just iridescent on this piece. It's not really silver and it's not really gold. There's another pretty piece. I think we showed that one already. With this beautiful piece. Doesn't it feel, got that beachy vibe? Anybody like, oh my gosh, I need a beach break right now, right? What's your favorite beach? Anybody got a favorite beach? Give it a shout out below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. And I think I'm missing one. We'll figure it out. But there are 12 different designs from that. So this is one of the ones that I'm missing, but I've already cut into it. But you'll get the idea. So it's got the, the pattern from top to bottom. I'm just trying to see if I have a full one here. Probably not. Probably over on the table. But it's got just kind of a, a lot of water, a little sand, a little sky. This is just the opposite. A lot of water, a little beach, a little sky, or you can turn it around. Okay. And then if we flip all of these over, you're gonna have kind of a nice mix of beautiful patterns. Again, with some of that, I love this piece of wood here. You're gonna see that used a lot. And again, just that shimmery and shine like water would be. So let's pull these pieces back in here for just a second before I show you some fun samples. And I wanna show you, of course the dies are always great to die cut your stamped images right and so we have a die for this image we have three of the little birds we have our seashell we have and it will go this way our oyster shell we have our crab do we have another piece oh yes sorry about that and let's turn this around and we can cut all three of those seashells at one time. We've got our little circle here. And then this is kind of like a curled up conch type of shell. And then we have our pearl. So every single stamped image in the Seaside Bay has a coordinating die for it. In addition, then you have all of these really fun bonus dies. This strip here can either create Water can create sand. It's great for little scenery. You've got two different types of seagrass. You've got four of the scallop shells, and then you've got another large scallop shell that actually hinges, embosses, and stamps. But in addition to cutting the stamped images, 
there's quite a few pieces of designer paper making this to me a really like versatile stamp set and a great um, investment um, in your stamping craft products. So we're able to cut that sweet bird and we're able to cut the crab from this one. And let me just keep going forward, make sure there's nothing on the back of that one. From either one of the prints that have the muscle, it looks kind of a muscle or a closed oyster shell. You're gonna be able to cut some of those images out. This here is a kind of a similar version to the other one that we had before. And so now we have our crab. And you're gonna find on some of these pieces of paper that you're gonna have the seashell to cut out. So here we have our seashell. And you're gonna be able to cut some of the smaller little scallops out. So you're gonna be able to really get a lot of different, here's another crab that you can cut. So you're gonna really be able to cut a whole bunch of different images. And while there is not, let me get this right, three birds together on any one strip of paper, there are some smaller birds that you're gonna be able to position the die and get some of the smaller birds. So lots of great things, guys, that you can cut with this suite. And then just to show you real quick the coordinating colors of cardstock from the Stampin' Up! Core line of inks and colors, you're going to have Balmy Blue, Coastal Cabana, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, and then you're going to have gold foil. And all of those are part of our core line where you have ink pads, you have markers, you, um, for some of the colors, have blends. Of course, we have embellishments. And then another part of this suite is this beautiful variegated, really buttery soft ribbon. So you're gonna have that to work with. So now let's take a few seconds to inspire you with some fun samples. Let's pull those in. So first one, I wanted something that was just a little fancy. This is the new Shimmer Gold. You saw that in yesterday's video. This greeting is not part of the set, okay? But it's a great greeting and it's a greeting only stamp set. A little sneak peek of some new vellum. And I just used one of our square dies from the Stylish Shape. St die cut it three times and pop the center one up just a little bit so it overlaps that edge. And that's how I got them all to fit. And then some gold sequins, but just a little bit of gold and vanilla and white. I love that combination. Here's a really fun one for you. Lined up the paper and we've got thank you for everything. The bird was die cut right from the designer paper instead of trying to color it. Little bit of vellum grass there. And then this border is from the new Around the Bend. And you saw the gingham paper in our very first video with our country floral lane. But I just love, first off, the layout. And I love how we continued the water on that one. Another one, a little soft. Oops, they're stuck together here. So in this case, we used designer paper. And there's that beautiful wood. Isn't that just gorgeous? Love and miss you. And we just die cut a whole bunch of the seashells after stamping them, a little linen. And then this does open and there is a pearl there. So love and miss you. Another one here, just using some of the stylish shapes again. And a little bit of glitter on the water. If you're seeing that, that's the Wink of Stella. I actually keep that out on my desktop because everything needs a little sparkle, right? And our little sanderlings going across the beach. If I'm getting it right, if not, my daughter will correct me. Fun way to show off lots of the different designer papers. Again, that stylish shapes. I told you guys that that is an absolute workhorse in my studio. You can see where I use the stylish shapes here, 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 and here. So getting lots of work out of that set of dies. And I just used that edge, this edge right here. I cut my white and I cut two pieces of crumb cake, tucked my little crabs behind tied on the hello greeting. And then one more little slim line card, pulling in some of our beautiful shiny paper from the pack. We've got the little waves and our shiny little oyster shells or mussels. It can be either one, they're kind of similar. We have our oyster, we have our pearl. You are rare and, um, you are a pearl rare and precious. And then three more little pearls up here. So lots and lots of possibilities. Again, already a crowd favorite guys. 
As a reminder, the sweets that I'm showing you are coming from this mini catalog that debuts on January 5th. And I just got my cases of catalogs here in the house. So if you don't have a demonstrator in the US and would like a copy, make sure that you message me. I will be putting them out in the mail next week. So I'll see you tomorrow for yet another sweet video, guys. Take care.